welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is once again your man Bob and Bob, Doc Wild Card. Welcome back to XA Oscar, XA Oscar Blood Droplets, Military Phoenix for XOXO Blood Droplets. In which case, poor Everett seems as if he's need, in desperate need of some sort of like supernatural substance or stuff like that. Not yet. Don't like this. We have no idea what Jeremy has been doing what what you got. You know, I assume. Yes, you assume. And indeed when one assumes what makes an ass out of you. And me. You are such a white boy. I was there, all he wanted to do was smack on his wishes sweet. He wouldn't do anything bad to them. Fine. But I don't want you to think you're doing any. Uh, I don't want you to do anything drastic. Ask Jeremy nicely for them back. There's even the tiniest hint of a threat, even if he only seems suspicious, let it go. I understood. I can handle my way around, young man. This was a mistake. Too late! I'm on my way! Okay, I'm gonna save here just in case. Hey, nerds in here? No dice, it's gotta be around somewhere. Why are you calling poor Jeremy a nerd? The guy is as sad as it is. What if he was there and heard that? Oh, look who's sailing their face back around these parts to me and mine. Now, this is sort of your fault. If I hadn't taken you on a walk, we wouldn't have been caught by Jeremy and still maybe have his things. <sighs> That's not fair. You're not to blame, not you am I. It's just cruel and unfortunate circumstances that caused ever to shut down for lack of cookies. Well, it almost doesn't seem like you understood what I was talking about. Oh, Jesus, music. And that's as though you're upset by <laughs> But that's not possible. Oh, jeez. Remember! Remember Sunday? Ever told me not to bite me or anything like that? Ah, he's not around though. And all because of that whole like, thing situation. Shoot, you really are a smart dog. <laughs> oh, jeez. Found the wrong dessert. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay then. Okay, I'm gonna build this. Target acquired. Now Jeremy hate now Jeremy hates everything. He'll never part with those guys if he knows what they're up to so help his angry. Time to play cool. Hey Jeremy, man, those looking delicious. I've gotten so hungry. You think you can spare a few for me? Um, why? You don't couldn't you go to the cafeteria and get your own food? But those are way more special. They're treats Mrs. Craig made, right? Ask Everett then. He's always the one you go to, isn't he? Everett doesn't have any left. You were there when it happened. Do you see the problem? Yes, I see. Oh. <laughs> Picked the biggest dumbass around to be your boyfriend. Jeez, I'm gonna think it's something fancy. He's calling you a freaking boss before he convinced me to share. Okay, save here. Now that Jeremy is a big time house nut. Jeremy, I'm demanding to get back to you. It's for your own good. This is an intervention. I'm not going to stop bothering you about this. It's bad to eat like a tiny piggy. Jeremy, we all know you have a poor diet. Not to take care of you. 
not to mention your terrible sleeping habits. God, take care of yourself. If you don't, I'll do it for you. <sighs> okay. That's more like it. Your older self will be glad you made such wise decision. Whatever. Thank you, Jeremy. Aw, uh, you're welcome. Hey, I got them. You did? Yes, you of little faith, I told you. I was getting my custom made <laughs> and stop running again. Fine, and the Why isn't this working? You might need more. But we've given a few and Jack Squires happened. I reminds me of this time when I said to my little sister, So you don't know Jack Squat? She said, no, not one, no, me either. <laughs> so stupid. She was like eight years old at the time or something. So she really should have known better. Uh, anyway. We should call Mrs. Gray already. Hold the phone and put your phone back in the pocket. I wonder if this is the right thing. What else could they be? You know... You got them from Jeremy in the same box, didn't you? I did, but he's a crafty boy. Why have you figured out some? Why have you figured someone might come for his treats and had a decoy? That's nonsense. Who would do something that incredibly paranoid? Jeremy King, you would. You might have a slow point. Exactly. I just sample one just to make sure it's got the same delicious box as the real deals. You can't. Save them forever. You know that. I'm aware. Still, we could be wasting our time. Both you and Reverie hate that. Some verifications definitely need. And you're positive this is an excuse for you to eat more dessert? Yes, this is for science. Make it quick. Can do. I only need one bite. No! Uh. Jeremy? Ah. Uh. Hi. Yeah, hi. Why precisely are you the only one? We the only Why precisely are we hearing your disembodied voice this moment? Probably because I placed a listening ball on everyone which was a box. It also has a speaker. Bastard! Uh, bastard! You have been eavesdropping this entire time? In our private bedroom? Do you have no boundaries at all? Yep. Not for that. Sorry. Now ah, you're a real freaky kid. Please, what's up with his face? Please say you're stopping for me a whole frame, Brian, because you're so concerned too many treats might give me a tummy ache. Nope. Ever being some soulless monster who deserves being an energy source, I hold it all and I prepared. I wanted to in you to insist on taking them back. They were infected. I want you to insist on taking them back. They're infected with one of my handmade diseases. Handmade diseases? Who knows how long it's going to be. What it's going to do with a creature like him. Probably nothing good. You'd die for sure if you ate one though. Please don't. Ah! Everett! Oh, maybe. Maybe germs don't bother him. He's gotten sick before. He has. This isn't. He might. Oh God. Stay with me. Wait. Let's see it when his nurse fixing illness is his thing. Ah, uh, good luck. There's no cure since there. Since she's not super immune to infection, you're probably still out of luck. That's a nice way of saying what this actually means. So out of luck. Jeremy, you suck and I hate you! Bye. Ah! Never in my baby. I never should have take, taken anything from the tax stuff pharmacist boy. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, so then... What happens if... I do... 
Listen, I don't want to ruin Everett's scheme, but some of these trees are poisoned. I'm trying to help you out here. No, they aren't. I'm serious, you're lucky you haven't killed over yet. Nope. Fine, but I still want them back so much I try to trick you. Doesn't that mean anything to your cold heart? Um. Please? Please, please? <sighs> okay. I can take them? Whatever. Thank you, Jeremy. Aw, oh, you're welcome. Hey, I got them! Did? Yes, you little faith. Let's see. It's going to be the same thing. Ah! Yeah, it is the same thing. Okay. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Oh, jeez. Classic. I'm done with that. I'm done with little green and get boiled before the peach fire away, just get me a leaf. Fine. You're not killing a little bike yet. But surely you could prepare me a small taste. You couldn't even... You wouldn't even... <clears throat> need to break off a piece. I could forget the dressing from you. If you know what I mean. Um... Poor dude. Wait, she wanna give you a big feel part be great be so grateful that I could give you something more in return. This feels so for me to say this dude. Oh Well you, you don't mean any of that. But I do. Mm. So you what you gotta see the deal. Another save. Shoot this does. You, you can take it. Take it, please. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, I got them. You did? Yes, you oh, don't. It's going in the same way. Oh jeez. So what's happens in here? Oh do you not want me to stop? Shut up. It's okay if you don't your desires, Jeremy. I'm listening. I This is so pointless. Why am I even bother? Cause it's a good time? No, it's awful. You don't like me. I want to give it all to Everett so I can to save him from his own pay by feeling the special energy source. How the text do you know that? Because I'm not Everett, which means I have enough forethought to step up ways listening to conversations. You better tell me what those methods are right the hell now. I usually stick bugs around places. The room is tricky. And it always finds some during the obsessive fleeting sessions, I can relate. But you never have to resolve to check something physically for contraband. And again, Everett is the biggest idiot to be found, so I bugged him directly when I took the box. You what? What? Is that cookie crumbling to play all along? Yeah, kind of. Partly. Whatever. Being that close to him was disgusting, but I had to. God, you was not on a date. Yep. I almost turned it off for a while. After a while. <clears throat> Waiting for is really disturbing. It really is. I cannot believe this. I'm still taking this stuff whether you want me to or not. They're infected. Even the one I'm eating. I've developed immunity. Sure. I mean it. I knew you were coming for them, remember? Plan was killed him when Okay, it's just admitting this out right. Wow. Plan was killed him while you sat down so I would be less suspicious they'd be less suspicious when I never got back up. I was gonna resist for a bit and make him 
think you really want before handing them over to make you even less noticeable than I was sitting on except. You said to give up instead? Yep. Said the goal of this guy. He is not a true American because true Americans never give up. I'm quite <laughs> just the combination of their two voices. I'm quite happy. What do I do now? Nothing, I guess. Everything is ruined for everyone. That's life. Bitch. We should have it. We should have it right here in spirit. Hey. <laughs> oh wait. He doesn't have one of those. Oh jeez, I've never seen him like this before. Scum! I'm taking you back to my- I'm going back to my room and I'll be destroying what you planned, my shorty. No more eavesdropping for you. Whatever. So that was a bust. You ate them? No! Is that right, you brat? What? Jeremy has ever bugged. It was everything. What? When the clown boy took the box, he used the opportunity to tag everyone. After overhearing how important the stacks were, he corrupted the batch. The Kremlin! Seriously. Okay, another save. Step aside, me. I need to remove the listening device. I don't think that's appropriate. Are you going to do it, or should I just have an extra party member here for the rest of however long it takes for him to wake up? Fine. I'll be the best risky fish guy ever, I promise. Ugh. Got the bugger. Thank God. Bye, Jeremy. Look for another. Make sure he didn't get one on you either. Definitely. I think we're in the clear. We are calling Mrs. Gray. No more disagreements. Fair enough. This probably little adventure freed us from the people here is Jeremy. Right. Mrs. Gray, it's Nate. I'm watching here. Put it on speakerphone. One moment. There. Hi! Oh, who is this lady I hear? I'm average girlfriend, basically. Well, uh, my goodness, I've been, to talk, I've been dying to talk to you, Jarquette. You know my name? Ever told me about you? Aw, oh, hi, sweet. Just thought the time was great. We were told about Everett. We need to know- we know he isn't human. What? We found out after you gave away the food you sent and shut down. My baby! What were you thinking not telling everyone about his extra needs? He's just so good about eating what I make for him. I suppose he's out growing needs for his mom's home cooking. Is that true then? It was- why fish like me he doesn't even know? Artificial everything. Oh jeez. Is it like Frankenstein's monster or something? Every part of him is lovingly put together from real human flesh. I'm not sure that helps. I was going to tell him honestly, when he was truly grown. But he's always my baby. First back every day I sit to talk to him about uh, because he didn't seem ready. You have to tell him now. If you even get the chance, can you send more? Will you be all right? Yes, I'll work on another packet immediately. Everett is extremely resilient. Let's work with his strength. Thank God. I'm terribly sorry for the way you need. And you too, your cat. This must have been distressing. No worries. As long as he'll be all right, so will I. Resilience is something we've got in common. Agreed. Bless your hearts. Thank you for being such good friends to him, even now. He's probably still worse, haha. <laughs> ah! And I'll put us through more in the future. And we all know that's gotta be the truth. <laughs> I'm 
so glad you're a part of his life. It will take a week or so to get everything together and have it arrive. If I can ask, if I can still ask for your help, please watch over forever until you can make it. We will. A week? Isn't there any way we can do that, like, now? I'm sorry, no. Keeping every happy and active text takes a relatively low maintenance cost. Getting him to roster a complete craft will take a much later jolt. The package I'll send will be three times the normal size. I'm going to transfer it into water instead of flour to remove the energy less. Boo. Ignoring that, I still prefer knowing what, what this energy is. I'm not comfortable being in the dark about something like that. It's too important. I understand. I hope you won't think he's creepy. We won't, for sure. Since my son is what we call organic in terms of the property he's made of, Everett has subsisted on the vitality of humans. I've had some of those. Does that mean I've consumed people flesh? Am I cannibal now? Oh no, honey. I knew Everett would share with his friends. I hoped he would. The secret ingredients of my press to are love and pure human energy. I have off a here and there from large breath, breath people. Not enough for anyone to even notice it's gone. A person has never died for those treaties. I'm skilled in that regard. Knitting and baking are my other talents. And now I feel... better? You should. My sweets are good for the soul. Haha. <laughs> Although in a pinch effort to the even parts directly- oh jeez. This a strong source of energy, but these can get for most. I explained why I up an earlier event. It's so long power that he, he realized once <coughs> for once he realized you and my tally seemed free to use you know, something around. Thank you, Mrs. Gray. Please catch Sarah and Everett's next meal now. I will. Goodness, this has all gone to pieces, happened it? I hope... I should be the one thanking you. You already did. I'm thanking you again. It's alright. Everyone will be fine. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. I'll keep you in the loop about my progress. Goodbye. Bye. So that was so that was interesting. Do you think we should ask Bear if he has any pure film energy life energy lying around? Absolutely not. Jeremy already tried to murder him. There's no way in God's name that I'll feed every sketchy substance of him bay. A demon! Are you giving up? No. Indeed. See, take a note from him, Jeremy. He doesn't give up. He's a true American. I understand the solution has already been found. You should go back to your dorm. What? Why are you kicking me out? Having a girl in that room is completely against the rules. Oh yeah. It was the emergency earlier, but why are there stars in his eyes? It was the emergency earlier, but I said it has been resolved as best it can be. Now you need to weep. I'll keep watch. Nothing will happen to it. There's anything at all I can do to convince you to invite me to stay by his side these trying times? Yes. Leave before I report you. All right, see ya. Good. Bye. Where did you get this weight? The whole day's gone. What a chip. <sighs> Who dares sign my presence for I'm the only one around here is doing that right? Probably Jeremy, right? Yep. Um, hi. Jeremy, I should have known. You're really surprised? That was the most obvious possibility. Indeed, that's what I was thinking. Sign is what he does best. Hit the road, you toothpaste cupcake. Toothpaste cupcake. What's that supposed to be? I'm sure we're both too tired and depressed for a conversation. Besides, one thing I know for certain is that you're only here to stoop around the other situation. If you got cut off, you'll get nothing from me. I live in the storm too. What else would I go tonight? A likely story. If that's what you want to think. 
I pretty much have already have the full story, but whatever. I bet you think you're so clever. Not really. I'm only more clever than a numbskull who didn't even notice himself being tagged. Or they give him a box away to practically kill him. It's not exactly like a high bar. Even with Nate, his mom, and you taking care of him, ever managed to bungle his chance again. It's kind of impressive in a pathetic way. At this point, there isn't anything you can do to fix it. Mm. Oh, jeez, the <laughs> stabbing. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna say it here. Save because I felt like it could be a trap to just leave him there. So, uh, yeah, I hope you don't stab people in real life at all. Just that's clear, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get the wrong idea about me. This wasn't horrible, right? I worked hard, everything's going to be alright eventually. I had kind of half day before everything went to crap. It could have been worse. Yeah. Yeah! All a person could do is be proud of what they were able to achieve, not dwell on the fair side of stuff. That's good advice for real life. Good work, me. <laughs> Partial victories. Well, at least it was a happy ending for once in this. And that's going to be the end of this chapter, ladies and gentlemen. If you dig what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. I will sub back fairly well.